Well, News 19 is your local election headquarters and with two months left until the 2022 Alabama primary, former President Donald Trump has taken back his endorsement of Representative Mo Brooks, one of the three leading Republican candidates in the U.S. Senate race. Now the candidates vying to fill the seat of retiring U.S. Senator Richard Shelby. The field includes Shelby's former chief of staff, Katie Britt, U.S. Army veteran Mike Durant and Mo Brooks. News 19's Kayla Smith joining us now in the studio with the latest. Kayla. Congressman Brooks has been Trump's candidate of choice since la since April of last year. But after a disagreement over the 2020 election, Trump took back his support without even a phone call to Brooks. According to Brooks, former President Trump, as recently as last month, called on him to rescind the 2020 election. Brooks said this was not an action that was legally possible, and instead, he said Republicans should put their efforts into winning upcoming elections. And we as a Republican Party, we as Republican voters need to focus on that because as you've seen with what's happening in Washington, you can have all the good intentions you wish, but if you don't have the votes, you don't win. A quarter mile from my house downriver. Polls have shown Brooks falling behind his opponents, Durant and Britt. Trump has said he will endorse another candidate from Alabama for U.S. Senate, but he has yet to announce who will receive his support. Coming up at 5, we'll take a look at Trump's history of endorsements in Alabama.